কি অবিশ্বত্ত জীবন ছিল আমরা ফ্ল্যাট বিজলি এগুলো কিচ্ছু ছিল না আমরা একটা অন্ধকার জগতেরই মানুষ আমাদের বাচ্চাদেরকেও স্কুলে ভর্তি করাইতে গেলেও মিথ্যা পরিচয় দিয়ে ভর্তি করাইতে হয় আমাদের কোনো ডকুমেন্ট নেই কোনো প্রশাসন নেই কোনো ঠিকানা ছিল না সিটের মধ্যে আমরা বেশি কথা বলতে পারি বাইরের মানুষজন আসে এদেরকে নির্যাতন করত আমরা এমন একটা গৃহবন্দী হিসেবে থাকি তারা ছিল রাষ্ট্রহীন Humanity has come a long way and maps of our world testify to this progress. Yet, as late as the 21st century, more than 54,000 people lived in a state of confusion, unsure which country they belonged to. This was not a war zone, a hostile border. These were peaceful neighbors, friends for nearly half a century, Bangladesh and India. Yet between them lay the enclaves or chit mahals. For the people who live in an enclave, life can be complicated. To whom do you turn in times of need? What do you call yourself? Who are you? This is a very unfortunate. If he says that I am from Bangladesh, then he will also be a joke because he doesn't have any relationship with Bangladesh. और अगर वो बोले कि मैं इंडिया से हूँ तो वो भी झूठ होगा मतलब वो सीधा जाए तो भी झूठ उल्टा जाए तो भी झूठ वाइल दीज में हैव बीन एक्सेप्शनल इवेंट्स लिविंग इन द एनक्लेव्स ऑन द इंडिया बांग्लादेश बॉर्डर ब्रॉट डेली रिमाइंडर्स इन अ टाइम व्हेन एवरी अदर अर्बन इंडियन लोकैलिटी or a part of a country that is wholly within the boundaries of another country. Access is only through that surrounding country. An enclave can lie within an enclave, what we call a second-order enclave. And in one unique case of a third-order enclave, there was an enclave, within an enclave, within an enclave. How does it feel to be in the dark when your neighbor's home is well lit, even though all that separates you is a line on a map? At all of us, we have done our life in our life. We have done our life in our life. Because we are human beings. Our neighbor is our neighbor. Our neighbor is our neighbor. Imagine such a situation persisting for decades. Basics being denied because you were on the wrong side of a border. For some, the border difficulties took a different form. Bear in mind that these were yet normal things, normal times. What would happen when things didn't go right? Whose law came to your protection? Both or neither? रास्ता क्यों मर्ड इपर हाल बंद कर दे रास्ता का तो ढेर नहीं है दाई बार देखें नहीं मारे पर डाका थी ये बार ये बार तीन तीन बार दो बार क्यों डाका थी कैसे ये बार ये इलाके तो इसलिए अनेक समय आमादे अपराधी दे आश्रय स्थल ये सीट मोहल्ले आश्रय नीति नुफले आम्राशी माधक चुराचरण बंद करते बार it used to be like any other village in the India. You can't enter that. But anybody in night can enter and move to and fro. Because there, there uh, used to be no, literally, literally no whistle. What made it so difficult to keep track of what was where and who was who? How did this incredibly complex situation arise? Puna Turkuti, Jalachalo Rampur, Tarpore, Shastunishali Professor Bhagolo, 
তারপর পরিপ্রেক্ষিতে কুচবিহারী রাজা জগদীশ নারায়ণ ভুগ বাহাদুর উনিশশো উনপঞ্চাশ সালে আঠাশে আগস্ট দিন ভারতবর্ষের কিছু করে জুড়েন আমি ভারতবর্ষকে সমর্থন করলেন আর রংপুরের রাজা পাকিস্তানকে সমর্থন করলেন সেই দিন থেকে আমরা ছিটিয়ে পরিণত হলাম এর আগে কোনো ছিট ছিল না A popular legend puts the blame on chess. Two kings battling on the chessboard, wagering pockets of land with no thought to the consequences. It's a great story, but in fact, the enclaves were created by a series of 18th century peace treaties between the Mughal Empire and the Kingdom of Kuch Bihar. এই নকশাটা হলো আমার এই পঁচাত্তর কোটি উনিশশো একত্রিশ সালে যে সরকার রেকর্ড করেছিল সামটাইমস হিস্ট্রি ইজ শেপড বাই চেঞ্জেস ইন কন্টেক্সট দি এনক্লেভস অফ ইস্টার্ন ইন্ডিয়া হ্যাড এক্সিস্টেড পিসফুলি ইফ অবজার্ডলি ফর সেঞ্চুরিজ নাও দে ফাউন্ড দমসেলভ কট আপ ইন ক্যাটাকলিজমিক চেঞ্জ ওয়েন দ্য লাইনস অফ পার্টিশন ওয়ার ড্রন ওয়ান র্যান্ড রাইট থ্রু দিস মেস সাম এনক্লেভস বিকেম ইন্ডিয়ান some pakistani suddenly everything was transformed akhon amoni hoyse baire jana sit mole baire dhoriya eshpi chalam bhai feri wala aste se lamon morus khondi kapor chupon niye amra idiye je ei je ekta relation chilo as you can expect This created peculiar situations. Farmers had to cross a border checkpoint to work in their fields and then again to get home. School children, instead of enjoying a carefree walk, had to negotiate a border crossing twice a day. Although the affected people may have felt forgotten, the problem stayed on the table. Successive governments worked to untangle the muddle. first the governments of india and pakistan then in 1971 another upheaval created bangladesh for millions it was a time of celebration for the enclaves the close ties between india and bangladesh renewed hopes of settlement yet resolution proved elusive territory after all is an emotive issue So the problem persisted well into a new century. This agreement has been pending uh, since 1974 when it was signed between uh, the then uh, prime ministers uh, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. But three elements of that agreement could not be implemented relating to demarcation of the boundary, adverse positions and enclaves because of interpretations of the agreement. One thing however had changed. This was a new generation raised in the age of information. Young people in the enclaves were more aware, more insistent that every problem could be solved. Responding to the mood, the government moved to pursue matters more vigorously with Bangladesh. Bharat Bangladesh Chit Mahal Binimoy Samanvay Committee bole ekta committee gothon kore. প্রাক্তন বিধায়ক প্রয়াতন এত দীপক সেনগুপ্ত তারপরে ওনার নেতৃত্বে আমরা আন্দোলন শুরু করি এবং আমি নিজেও সেই আন্দোলনের সঙ্গে যুক্ত হই শুধু আমি না এ পাশে একান্নটি ছিটমহলের সমস্ত মানুষই সেই সংগঠনের সঙ্গে যুক্ত হয় আসলে আসমা বিবি যখন গর্ভবতী হন তখন বহু কষ্ট হয়েছিল আমাদের তো বাংলাদেশের হসপিটালও নেয়নি ইন্ডিয়ান হসপিটালও নেয়নি অনেক মা বোনও মারা গেছে গর্ভবতী অবস্থায় তো আমরা ভাবলাম এবারে আমরা একটা জেহাদ করি Into this movement in 2010 a child was born in the enclave of Madhya Mashal Danga Earlier children had been born under false addresses false names but for this child Asma was firm Amader bhavna chilo je amra mittu hoy hobo babas holo hobe ekta hobe kichu কিন্তু আমরা জিতেই যাব এখানে তো আমাদের সিট মহলের প্রথম আন্দোলনের সফলতা হলো এই জেহাদ তো জেহাদ মানে যুদ্ধ জেহাদ মানে লড়াই তো আমরা লড়াই করে জেহাদ জয়ী হয়েছি তার জন্য আমরা এর নাম রেখেছি জেহাদ হোসেন ওবামা অলং উইথ লিটল জেহাদ বেবি স্টেপ দেওয়াজ ভিজিবল প্রোগ্রেস ইন দ্য নেগোসিয়েশন সিম্বল অফ দিস অবেকনিং 
was Maimona Khatun, who lost her voting rights when she married a Bangladeshi enclave resident. Maimona fought back, had her rights restored, and even contested elections in 2011. She lost by a huge margin, but made her point about the rights of enclave dwellers. We interacted with the people, then only I got to understand that actually what is the complexity of you know, enclave formation and how the life is being affected because of the enclave. After that only we realized that there are some issues uh, which has to be resolved at the international level. There was a change in Delhi and Dhaka too. A new generation of bureaucrats and politicians was resolute about resolving this long-standing tangle. Progress, stagnant for decades, was now flowing again. In the enclaves, doubts persisted. Pacts had come and gone before, in 1958, 1974, 1986 and 1992. Would things be different this time? The biggest challenge that we faced in the time uh, from 2014 till uh, 2015 was uh, building awareness of what the protocol and uh, agreement actually meant, securing the free and full consent of all the state governments that were involved and which were uh, directly impacted by this. Uh, and then uh, for the external affairs minister to actually pilot this bill through parliament. Now all that was needed was the will to accept uneven transfer of land. In 2015, with a new government in Delhi, that bold final step was in place. On the 7th of May 2015, India's parliament ratified the draft treaty originally framed in 1974. In India's parliament, there was not a single objecting vote. Not just the government of the day, but all of India put humanity ahead of territory. While it may appear like a loss of territory, such loss is, loss is illusory. Humanity will win. Today when this August House you know, unanimously adopts this amendment, humanity will be champion. Those in favor may say aye. Those against may say no. I think the eyes have it, the eyes have it. South Asia had shown the world how to negotiate the complex maze of border disputes with magnanimity and grace. India had held fast to its policy of neighborhood first. land boundary agreement Behind the jubilation, there was much to be done. 70 years ago, the redrawing of a map had led to the sorrow and bloodshed of partition. This time, with enlightened governments and empowered citizens, it was very different. People's needs were given primacy. অনেক লড়াই করেছি অনেক আন্দোলন করেছি অনেক অনশন হয়েছে কিন্তু তারপরে আমাদের স্বাধীনতা কোন আজ দুঃখ ভুলে আনন্দ দুঃখ সব ভুলে গেছি এই মশাল জ্বালিয়ে Things began moving rapidly Decisions moved from distant legislatures to the immediate neighborhood Which country would each enclave dweller qualify for Who would opt to go where Obviously when you have a change in the alignment of the boundary the maps have to change and both sides have to agree that this is the 
interpretation of the provision of the agreement or the protocol when it is translated into paper, this is how it will look like. We signed this uh, document in June 2015 and we promised each other that we would complete it by June 2016. So we had literally 12 months within which to complete this. Officials in both countries spread out through the enclaves to take head counts and conduct surveys. The Bangladesh Deputy High Commissioner's visit symbolized the transition. Once he and the villagers had been compatriots in Bangladesh. Now the enclave was part of India and the officer an honored guest, yet a close friend. <laughs> Borders may have shifted, but the bonds shaped by millennia of shared history would endure. After the details were announced, many found themselves in a different country. Some opted to leave their homes in order to remain in India. Most, though, stayed where they were, the land of their ancestors. After the preparations, the lists, the notifications, the day arrived for those who had decided to move to India. They carried what they could, but most precious were the hopes they bore for a new future. At last, they were free from the uncertainty that had shadowed their lives for generations. We have a process by which we develop any place, we have provide them the rights which they deserve. They are going to get some you know, permanent accommodation. They will get a flat for which we have already made our plan. We are going to purchase land, build a house and give it to them. Secondly, is to provide them, yeah, uh, putting them into the system of you know what we are following, whether it is a social system or any other administrative mechanism. Now, since uh, they have already got integrated with the part of India, now they are eligible for any other scheme which is applicable to any other citizen of this country. Naturally, that floodgate has been opened. Starting life afresh is never easy. For those who had chosen to leave their homes and join their fortunes to India, there were basics to be taken care of. Shelter first. Camps were built to provide dignified housing for the period of transition. The Government of India extended financial support to enable the West Bengal Government to meet these requirements. There was regular and effective coordination between the state and union governments as these matters were addressed. Besides shelter, the families needed to be fed till they could find their own footing. All these new Indian citizens were provided cooked meals for one month. Then they naturally wanted their own familiar food and individual kitchens started up their fires. One step closer to normalcy. Next comes land, a lifeline for farmers. The government is in the process of identifying and acquiring land, which will then be transferred to our new compatriots. There is also the matter of livelihoods. Interestingly, many of the migrants are not exactly waiting for a permanent address. Monica Murmu has set up a grocery store for residents' basic needs. Krishna Sarkar has invested in an electric rickshaw and provides transportation services. These are just two examples of entrepreneurship in the camps. I As the former enclaves emerged from the shadows into light, 
the children may not have noticed the change. Yet, they will grow up with a sense of freedom, with opportunities that their parents could never have had. A stateless person who is not recognized by anybody has got a recognition. Now he says that my motherland is this country. Yeah, he says that I belong to this country. Now imagine a house located in an enclave. That house doesn't have any address. We provided them the pin code number for the first time. With this recognizable symbol of permanence, the national identity of Potur Kuti was complete. I am the director. Hello. <laughs> Hello. But she is coming as she is the Takata Hoy. That's the egg we take at the Hello. They come in for very women who are sitting with the glass. Pray on you. I am not a hello dear head. Ye Namki Mamma Abdullah. The land boundary agreement is not the achievement of any one department of ministry, it is the achievement of a nation as a whole. There are two steps to it. One is actually negotiating the agreement and signing the protocol. And the second is actually putting this through a parliamentary process of consultation, re trying to bring about consensus and finally having uh, the Land Boundary Act uh, approved uh, unanimously in Parliament. And I think MEA had the good fortune to coordinate and lead that team effort, but it was certainly something that everybody was involved with. Life was changing in other ways too. Something that most of us take for granted is access to the local administration. But enclave residents saw little of that till the accord came into force. When the population is increased, then primary school will be a primary school will be a polling station. What do you do? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the ancho hall, like a diamond in the sky. The new citizens now have free access to the many welfare programs of the Indian state. For young children, Anganwadi centers provide support with health care, supplementary nutrition, and preschool education. Japoni Kabo, Takuni Porishka Porichinogotabe, Bachade, Polio, DPT, Potisha de Gulos of Gluditabe, Tale Amade, Je Bektigoto Porishka Porichinata, Jeta, Amar Poribar, Porishka Porichinatabe, Tale Amar Kono Ashibidana, Ashibishu Habena. Work in rural areas is often hard to come by. The former enclave dwellers are now entitled to the benefits of the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act, probably the world's most ambitious economic security and public works program. From district admission side, we have already started identifying people to integrate them under national livelihood mission where the skill development will be a main focus. In future, there are plans for development of industry close by, they integrate them in the existing industrial setup. Many other projects were initiated. Women were assisted to set up self-help groups. The traditional skill of Sheetal Pati received a boost. As these initiatives were gathering momentum, came the announcement for elections in the state of West Bengal. Several programs were halted to conform to India's tough electoral code of conduct. Surely, the people were disappointed. On the contrary, they were elated because they finally got a chance to participate in the most sacred ritual of democracy. Voting day was something that they had only dreamt of. And happiest of all was a 103-year-old Asghar Ali. बहुत अच्छा लगा दादा पहली बार वोट दिया को भी बहुत अच्छा लगा गैन मदर में बहुत मैं पहली टाइम वोट दिया तो बहुत बहुत ही अच्छा लगता है हमरा तीन जनरल इलेक्शन के वोट दिए करवा हमने टेकूं कुनो दिन भापते हो पाई नहीं
Despite the enormous efforts, there are still problems that remain. Some families have been separated by the new borders. Parents like Sapna Rani are willing to endure the difficulties because her children now have unprecedented opportunities for education, for progress. Of the nearly thousand enclave dwellers who had formally decided to move to India, several did not show up for the transition. Going the extra mile, the Indian government conducted an additional round of opinions and learnt that emotional bonds are hard to break. <laughs> All are now proud citizens of Bangladesh, a choice that we respect. After all, they symbolize that this is an accord of equals. Two nations maturely dropping their differences and working together for the benefit of the people. Some of the people we could not contact, uh, well, uh, their whereabouts is also not known, so we have to leave here at that. In the former enclaves, life is fast returning to normal. The old ways go on, finding equilibrium with the new. Yet, in ways that outsiders can never understand, everything has changed. History becomes lines on a map, but only when time or distance has erased the joys and sorrows of the human condition. While in the making, history is the story of people, of individuals, dreaming magnificent dreams and waiting patiently for borders to dissolve, for humanity to triumph. Bhoor dilam. Bhoor dilam wana ibn pore. Bhoor dilam, bhoor dilam, ya shunna kuriya dam. Ya Allah vidda ya kare, ya khari. Thank you.